As his pride faded, Detective Conby was left with a feeling of unease. He had successfully managed to enter a whole new world. How could this be, and why did he accept this so readily? One thing was clear. There were no answers to be found by standing around questioning reality. Knowing only what he read in the commonplace book, Conby headed off to look for Jeremy in the hateful mound. Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. May 1923, Monday. All okay, ready for delivery. Maintenance, oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday, shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance, service bridge close to broken. Wednesday, prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Hmm. I need the key. Something missing.
locked.
kind of fall to your death and go up in flames. mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Don't come any closer. I'm all Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet! It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Condé was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, but somehow Condé managed to find his way back to DeSetto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other. 
or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. went shut. It worked. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. The lone and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize, or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. What's this? I don't think I have everything I need. Now we're talking. 